I, I love this question because um, well, it's a very common thing, right? So especially when you're you're a senior engineer and you're you're making this choice about like, do I want to manage people or do I want to keep going down my IC path? It's a very 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 common question. And um, the thing that I always tell my managers to look out for, and when they have these conversations with their ICs and their engineers, is what's the motivation, right? So ask like. Oftentimes, what I'll hear is like, oh, well, I want to get promoted or I want to make more money or I want to like do something different. Those are all fine answers, but they're not good reasons why you should get into management, right? And what you want to look for is like, I want to grow people or I want to have more strategic conversations at a product or a business level or I want to interact more with my product partners or like those kinds of things kind of warrants like a discussion about like, okay, does it make sense for you to transition to management? And when you do, setting those expectations about what happens. So by the way, a lot of your time is going to be in conversations. You're going to be enabling and coaching others. You're not going to be on the on the, on the ground actually coding or, or doing the work. At some point in success, you won't be talking about code at all. You won't be talking about like technical stuff at all. What you'll be talking about is how do we do these things and what's the most effective way to get it done. And so making sure that they have the right motivations and then making sure that they're aware of the success of the role is exciting to them. I think that's critical.